would be about the use uh, of a scanning probe uh, technique to characterize uh, a special class of electrolyte gated transistor that is uh, uh, organic electrochemical transistors, OECTs. Uh, they have been proposed as uh, suited candidates for bioelectronics application, including uh, biomolecules detection, uh, electrophysiology, wearable uh, technologies, and uh, in vitro and in vivo cellular recordings, thanks to their um, uh, unique and favorable characteristics. Uh, these devices uh, are three terminal uh, devices in which a thin film of an organic semiconductor is deposited in between source and drain electrodes and uh, um, an electrolyte um, keeps the ionic contact between the channel of the device and the gate electrode. Now the basic principle of these uh, transistors uh, relies on the capability uh, to reversibly switch uh, the um, uh, redox state of the organic semiconductor upon uh, gate action across the electrolyte. Indeed, uh, for example, if we apply um, a positive gate uh, uh, bias uh, to the gate electrode, cations from the electrolyte are injected into the polymer channel uh, that is dedoped from the charge carriers and therefore uh, its conductivity decreases. Uh, as a result, uh, from IV recordings, uh, we see the expected modulation uh, in the uh, output current. The main features of these devices uh, mainly comes from uh, their major component, uh, that is the semiconducting uh, material, uh, typically, in our case, P.PSS. It is a polyelectrolyte complex uh, of a uh, P-typed uh, semiconducting polymer, uh, P.DOT, and uh, PSS, which is a polyanion that stabilizes the uh, conducting form of P dot, which is P dot plus. In particular, uh, when deposited in the form of thin films, um, P dot PSS uh, are organized in a pancake-like structure with, uh, um, as a blend of uh, electronic and ionic microphases. They have uh, uh, particular uh, features uh, already introduced uh, this morning. And in particular, they are corroborated by the capability of PDOT uh, to undergo reversible electrochemical doping um, by exchanging ions with the electrolyte. It is evident that these devices belong to a cross-disciplinary domain. And to date, both physical and electrochemical events um, uh, that rules their operation is still lacking. Indeed, uh, generally, uh, their performances are evaluated uh, by the recording of IV characteristics, so it's a macroscopic evaluation, but this way we lose uh, any information about uh, the microscale. In contrast, uh, studies at the meso, uh, micro and nanoscale have been done uh, that, has, uh, that have uh, highlighted, uh, for example, subnanometric swelling due to ion uptake, and also the role of morphology and disorder-induced effect on mixed conduction. The aim of this work uh, was to um, uh, provide a tool to characterize uh, organic electrochemical transistors in operando using uh, an electrochemical probe. To do that, uh, we made use of um, uh, an electrochemical imaging tool, uh, a well-established technique, which is a scanning electrochemical microscopy uh, in a traditional configuration. And our um, electrochemical probe was a platinum microelectrode, uh, which can be uh, easily controlled in the three-axis direction. Um, the substrate was the, was the organic electrochemical transistor under study. Uh, that we control from a bipotential stat to apply gate and drain potentials while recording the generated currents. Um, to record the signal from our SCCM probe, uh, we use also a quasi-reference electrode that was a silver wire. The geometry of the um, OECT uh, was designed to fit the SCCM cell. So we have a, polymer, a polymeric uh, uh, gate electrode placed in, between, in the middle of a U-shaped channel, also made of P.PSS. And uh, the profile of the SCCM cell defines the portion of the device that is exposed to uh, an electrolyte solution, which is a phosphate buffer solution, uh, in which also the SCCM probe and the quasi-reference electrode are immersed. 
Now, um, since we wanted to measure the local electrochemical potential of the organic uh, um, material um, of, the, of the device during operation, mm, importantly, two experimental conditions uh, must be fulfilled. The first one uh, is that we have to bias uh, the transistor with a floating uh, instrument, like by potential stat uh, or a source meter. Uh, and the acquisition of the SCCM signal must be wireless. This way, these two systems uh, uh, do not share the ground and they cannot uh, um, interfere electrically. The second condition is to uh, establish a ohmic contact between the SCCM probe and the polymer surface. And this way, uh, the platinum microelectrode will report the electrochemical potential of the organic semiconductor. Uh, in this condition, uh, if we uh, record potentiometric approach curves uh, from the bulk solution to the point of contact with the organic conductor during transistor operation, we see that the, the, the value of the local electrochemical potential, ESCCM, is strongly rel related and dependent on the applied gate voltage. Indeed, if, if we follow one of the blue line, this one, um, if we apply uh, a positive gate voltage, then uh, the doping of the polymer in the channel occurs. Uh, so I am an, an electrochemist, so to me this means uh, a reduction reaction. And for this reason, uh, we observe a smaller ESCCM. Uh, conversely, when we apply negative gate voltages, uh, the black line, uh, the opposite occurs. So a doping reaction it is taking place, uh, that is uh, equal to an oxidation. And for this reason, we record the higher values of ESCCM. So this looks like that uh, um, the measurement of ESCCM gives us direct access to quantify the local effect of electrochemical doping. But why? And to answer this question, we need to consider the uh, cross-section uh, here on the left, representing the ohmic contact between the SCCM probe and the uh, organic uh, uh, material deposited on a source uh, metal electrode, which is grounded, and the correspondent energy level diagram. Here, uh, we can distinguish three electrochemical potentials uh, that can be used in equivalence to uh, Fermi levels. The first one is the one of the electronic phase. The second one is uh, the, the one of the ionic phases. And the last one is the Fermi level of the reference electrode. Uh, during an S the SCCM uh, experiment, uh, the um, electrochemical potential um, that we measure at the platinum microelectrode is nothing else than the difference between the Fermi level of the electronic phase and the Fermi level of the reference electrode, as indicated here. If we now focus uh, on the interface between the two microphases, P dot and PSS, in the blend, um, we see that the vacuum levels are shifted by a value of uh, delta phi. Uh, that is related to the charged um, interface that is here, um, where anionic charges in the, P dot PS, in the PSS domains uh, must counterbalance the local accumulation of positive carriers in P dot, in P dot island, um, during uh, electrochemical doping. Now, thanks to the capacitive life behavior of uh, this parameter, uh, mm, we could uh, write uh, equation number two, linking the variation of the carrier concentration directly to this delta phi. And combination of equation one and two uh, leads us uh, to the third equation, that is the direct cor correlation between the carrier concentration and our measured values, ESCCM. Here, CV stands for the volumetric capacitance of P.PSS. Um, one step back uh, to the macroscopic IV recordings. So these are um, output characteristics uh, recorded in a buffer solution, and we see the expected current modulation uh, upon gating. And uh, if we add to the solution um, um, a reducing agent, uh, such as ascorbic acid, uh, we see that further modulation of the, uh, of the drain current is achieved, according to reaction one. Indeed, um, it is known that when uh, an oxidizable analyte uh, um, interacts with uh, an OCT used as a sensor, a P.PSS OCT used as a sensor, the overall result 
um, is a um, decrease in the conductivity of the channel. To investigate the microscale effects, uh, we decided to map the local electrochemical potential of the polymer channel. So we choose for, um, four points from source uh, to drain, uh, and we recorded the, the ESCCM values upon application of different gate voltages in the presence and in the absence of ascorbic acid. Um, on the top, we can see that uh, the values of ESCCM uh, decreases linearly uh, from source to drain, confirming that uh, we are working in a linear regime of operation of the device. And secondly, in the presence of ascorbic acid, according to uh, reaction one, we record smaller values for ESCCM at the same applied gate voltages. Um, also, uh, we made use of the possibility to um, explore the whole uh, area of our device with our scanning probe by um, investigating the main uh, interfaces of the device. Indeed, we recorded the potentiometric approach curves uh, on the channel and on the gate of the device during operation, applying positive and negative gate voltages. And this uh, uh, led us to uh, the possibility to draw experimental potential profiles across uh, the, in the two interfaces, uh, channel electrolyte and electrolyte gate interfaces. This capability is unique to this technique and uh, relevant for biosensing application. Indeed, it is known that the, um, uh, the reactivity uh, of uh, redox active molecules uh, at a, uh, an OCT sensor uh, leads to um, the um, establishment of uh, uh, gradients, potential gradients in the electrolyte and also potential drops and at the polymer electrolyte interfaces. Uh, for this reason, uh, this technique could be useful for the study of unknown sensing mechanism involved in analyte detection. Uh, further, we wanted to validate our method, and to do this, uh, we tested uh, four transistors with different geometry, so channel resistance, uh, thickness, uh, um, uh, architecture, and also in presence and absence of reducing analytes. Uh, we know that all these factors uh, uh, from a micro macroscopic scale, when we record the IV uh, characteristics, uh, impacts uh, profoundly, both on the amplitude and uh, on the modulation of the drain current. Um, in linear regime, uh, we know that uh, uh, the drain current uh, varies according to a variation of uh, mobility or concentration of charge carriers. Here, alpha stands for a geometrical parameters. And if we plot uh, the product uh, of uh, P uh, and uh, um, an effective mobility, an average value for the mobility of carriers uh, versus the measured ESCCM, we see that all data from all the four transistors uh, converge to a, a straight line, as predicted from the already presented equation three, multiplied by a constant mobility. Now, from the parameters of the uh, fitting line, uh, we were able to calculate uh, value for uh, the average mobility and also mm, P00, which is the intrinsic uh, um, uh, carrier concentration. And finally, uh, by introducing the value of P00 and uh, the volumetric capacitance in equation three, uh, we could write down the um, uh, expression that um, directly links uh, the um, concentration of the carriers uh, to the um, uh, measured ESCCM. It has a universal validity as uh, it is independent of device geometry, applied uh, gate potentials, and presence of reducing analytes. Uh, further, uh, to improve the understanding of these devices, uh, we were able to calculate the contact resistance from the potential drops recorded um, on the source and the drain electrodes. Also, uh, we calculated local current mobility values in contrast to the average mobility that is usually taken into account for device modeling. And uh, finally, we were able to directly assess the dynamic variation of the local carrier concentration during IV recordings with and without uh, the reducing analyte. To conclude, um, an SCCM setup can be interfaced uh, with uh, electrolyte gated transistor for direct investigation of physical and electrochemical events at the micro scale. Uh, this allows the direct assessment of fundamental device parameters crucial for trans tra charge transport, such as concentration and mobility of the carriers. 
and also visualization of potential profiles at the solid liquid interfaces. Uh, this opens up a new possibility for improved understanding of device operation mechanism, uh, direct assessment of device electronics and metric optimization, and finally, the investigation of unknown sensing mechanism and material optimization for bioelectronics. With this, I would like to acknowledge my supervisor and colleagues from uh, the Department of Industrial Chemistry, the Department of Physics of the University of Bologna, and also the group of Professor Wolfgang Schumann in Bochum. And thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>